aspect of catching that's overlooked and it's actually catching the ball and we take it for granted because we always play catch we're able to catch the ball you don't think much of it but when you're receiving balls behind the plate there's a lot you can do as a catcher to help create more strikes or present pitches better for the umpire to see make your pitcher feel good get more strikes it moves the game along keeps the confidence in your pitcher so there's a lot of good things that come out of receiving the ball well and the first aspect of it is simply catching the ball in the proper position catching the ball where you want to catch it and this is going to depend a little bit it's going to vary by person it's a personal thing but where i like to catch the ball in the glove is right there and so my hands out of the way i'm basically catching the ball in that in that area of my hand with my hand around that in the glove and what that does a few things for me uh, one lets me know where the ball is every time i catch it and two keeps the ball from hitting my hand hitting the bony part of my hand and popping out extra so i really work on any time i'm playing catch on catching the ball in that same spot in the glove. The more often you make a pitch look like it was caught right down the middle, the better. If you start doing things artificially with the pitch, if you're turning it, okay, or if you're pulling it back, that's going to be pretty obvious to the umpire, it's going to be obvious to the other team, uh, it's going to be obvious to your pitcher so you're not really going to gain the benefit of creating something visually appealing for the umpire you're not going to make your pitcher feel confident confident and the other team's going to be riding the umpire if he's giving you strikes that you're manipulating so the best advice i can give for framing or funneling or receiving the pitch is to make as many pitches as you can look like the pitch right down the middle